revolt of them in the Middle East. Election morn, 7 a.m. and a foggy prospect. Nurses coming off duty were among the first to vote. Another early elector to visit his polling station at Caxton Hall, Westminster, was Mr. Attlee with Mrs. Attlee and their family, 8 a.m. Loudspeaker cars began to call on the British public to exercise the privilege of the franchise. Every vote is needed. The ballot is secret. But on the whole, polling started rather slowly. Horse-drawn vehicles were a rare sight in spite of the continuing restriction on cars. Mr Ernest Marples in Wallasey, however, was one of those candidates who found a couple of circus tees and a chariot very handy for carrying his supporters to the polling booth. Mrs Braddock's official vehicle was a large van. Her supporters evidently were prepared to be squashed into close quarters for the privilege of voting for her. Policemen, as ever, were most helpful in the discharge of unofficial duties. This one held the baby at a Glasgow polling station. What was Mr Morrison thinking, I wonder, as he left his committee rooms to register his vote? And here, pensioners at Chelsea. The boys of the old brigade weren't going to be left out of the fight. At Lambeth, we get a look inside the polling station. Ballot paper stamped and handed out. The voter in the polling booth, the ballot is secret of course, and movie tone too will preserve this voter's anonymity. Then into the ballot box. Outside, the voter usually hands his poll card to a teller and certainly doesn't tell who he's voted for. When Mr Churchill arrived to vote at Kensington, there was such a crowd that it was a scramble to get a picture of him. But now the poll is closed and the ballot boxes are assembled at one central hall for the count. More secrecy surrounds this operation as the counting assistants rapidly perform their job. Counting completed, the returning officer announces the result. And that the undermentioned person has been duly elected to serve as member for the said constituency, Clement Richard Attlee. <laughs> Meanwhile, crowds have gathered to see the early results flash onto a screen in Trafalgar Square. First result came from Watford. No change, Labour. The first 38 declarations showed no changes at all. Then Blakely mentioned...